Good evening. My name is Norma Miller. I'm a middle of the road, middle class, bourgeoisie, black Afro-American, <laughs> liberal thinking, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant, <laughs> Jesus saved Reverend Ike, and Baptist. Also, I'm Episcopalian. I identify with everybody. This is a real crazy world. And believe me, I've wound up in this time of my life healthy, sexless, and single. <laughs> and my mother just was so mad. Every time I'd go on the road and everything, she would wonder, why, when I come back, did I bring a husband? <laughs> and I'd say, no. She put me out. <laughs> I was 36. And I told my mother I was waiting for Mr. Wright. She said, Wilbur and Orville been gone a long time. You better grab <laughs> anybody out here you can. But you can't go out here grabbing any man you can. Times have changed. Competition is mighty keen. After all, I'm not 21 anymore. I'm not even 31 anymore. Now, thanks to Oil of Olay and Swing, I can go on like this for years and years. <laughs> So I come out, I'm a spinster. I call myself a spinster as opposed to being called an old maid. Because telling the world you're an old maid is like telling the world you have grown old on the vine and you ain't been plucked. <laughs> Dearie, I have been plucked. <laughs> but you see, times have changed. When you get to my age, you've got to realize to every one of you guys, there's five of us which means four broads just got to fend for themselves. <laughs> and then after all, we got to share. Do you realize today you got to share? You got to share with the homosexuals. You got to share with the bisexuals, the transsexuals, and I'm homosexual, <laughs> heterosexual. And the worst thing about being heterosexual is you ain't got nobody to head over sex with. <laughs> but when you get old, what do you do? When you can't dance, those can do do what who can't teach. Then you have to wind up being a dancing teacher. So I give you my tribute to a dancing teacher. Said the registrar to me, if you want a PhD, your tuition must be paid. It's not for free. So to subsidize my learning, both my thighs must keep on churning. I give dancing lessons, 9, 12, and 3. <laughs> and every day this hot tomato keeps a rendezvous with Plato. And Aristotle suits me to a T. Sociology is something. That's why you find me bumping, giving dancing lessons, 9, 12, and 3. Now, I prefer my Bach to Boogie, because I come from cultured stock. But I must do Boogie Woogie, because with Bach, I'd be in hock. I detest these lowdown rhythms. Geometric logarithms are a challenge to my bright mentality. Though my dancing may be peachy, Give me Sigmund Freud or Nietzsche instead of dancing lessons 9, 12, and 3. <laughs> now, dig, you got a 1, 2, a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, give me that beat, 1, 2, feel the beat, 1, 2, a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, e, mm, mm. I know all the protozoa on the island of Samoa. I'm majoring in archaeology. That's why my sibia and tosses have emotional catharsis. It's those dancing lessons, 9, 12, and 3. Now, if I go to some man's penthouse and his Van Gogh is on view, if he shows me his Picasso, I might stay for breakfast too. <laughs> While amusing all you blighters, I review the English writers. I indulge in academic sophistry. But to buy the works of bacon, I gotta keep my bacon shaking, giving <laughs> dancing lessons. Nine, twelve, and three. <laughs>